corrections. <laughs> Khalif, when he actually came home and all the interviews started happening, we also have to look at the trauma that's given to someone that has to retell, relive, and go through that situation again and again. But it's something that he stood for, or else he wouldn't have gotten out. They were offering him seven years for allegedly stealing a backpack. Do you know the story or what he was on? Well, I just told you, right? But for allegedly stealing a backpack from a statement from a person that wasn't even there to witness this alleged robbery. Because it was his brother. But the system didn't do the investigation the way they were supposed to or at, at all. They just thought he's another black kid from a poor community and our statistics will rule out this child. Because everyone, 98% of the population take, takes pleas. Except for this one. Khalid didn't take a plea because he knew his innocence and it just didn't feel right to do something that I, I, if I have to stick it out, and he told me, if I have to stick it out, I will. We just didn't know how long it was going to take. But in that sticking it out, we go through things. Solitary confinement for not him or them trying to protect him. A lot of people also have that misconception that they, they put him in there for his own protection. Well, that's where a lot of his problems came from. It's the desensitization of your senses to desensitize you from taste, touch, smell, hearing, feeling. And so you're in a box. And yet the commissioner of the Department of Corrections went into solitary confinement. We've interviewed him on here. And he talked about his trauma from being in solitary for one hour, that they had to rush him out. But they would do that to children. We. If you've heard the story already and you've seen it, you've watched it, then you already know that what happened to my brother is completely one. I just got to let you know it's factual. There isn't, this isn't doctored footage. I foil requested the court and subpoenaed the court to get the, what only Kali could give us. So the action of foil requesting didn't get it on its own. You actually have to get the date and time roundabout. Khalif knew that. His memory of being trauma in, in, uh, impacted knew the dates and times that we got the footage to then show you. Or else we wouldn't have got it because they don't just give you three years or any years of your information or the information that, or the videos that they had. So Khalif had to remember that, but he also knew something that they didn't count on, which is he knew the badge numbers and the names of all the officers that abused him. And so, when he did his deposition, him revealing that was damaging to the, to the Department of Corrections. And so they came after him. So I'm sure you saw the, the footage of Khalif. Um, he was stabbed, and he also was shot in his abdomen. Yet Khalif lived through it, which is dangerous for the Department of Corrections and the NYPD. And if this, just so you know, if this sounds like conspiracy, then the first thing you have to get out of your mind is that this doesn't happen in America, not in New York, but it does. None of this was doctored footage. Khalif knew the names which was damaging for the police department and the correctional officers that they were trying to protect. And so Khalif, when, when he lived through the shooting that shot him in, his, uh, in, in, in our neighborhood, which he said he was a white person, we, live on one, we lived on 181st and Prospect, predominantly black, Jamaican, Hispanic. There's no white people in our neighborhoods, unless you were DT or undercover or a cop. But gentrification, gentrification changes a lot of that. But that's not what was happening in, in when Khalif was shot. And Khalif identified the person, or visually identified the person that shot him. Yet, while he's in the, in the hospital, they were trying to finish it off. Handcuffed to the bed after you're being shot, after you got shot, handcuffed to the bed because they said that he shot himself and so he had an illegal weapon. So when you heard Khalif got arrested again, 